yeah, it's been an amazing start. We haven't haven't dropped any points in the Premiership, so um, uh, we're very happy with with the way we started. But um, I mean, we, we know it's still a long way to go, so um, still a lot of work ahead. You know, we've played some good rugby, and we're pretty happy with the, the way things are going. I think it's just about maintaining standards. It's a, it's a long season as well, and I'm sure not everything is going to go away from now until until May. But we've got to, got to keep driving the same standards and um, and keep trying to play Saracens rugby. Yeah, we've got Saints this weekend, so it's it's a massive challenge. Um, they've been playing really well. They've got a really good squad, and um, it's always it's always tough going to playing playing them at Franklin's Gardens. Um, with Northampton, they've got a lot of great players, a lot of big ball carriers. Uh, they play with a lot of momentum, so so we're, we're looking, you know, having to front up in that physically in that game. But uh, we're confident. We're, we've got a lot of, um, you know, a lot of, we're having a lot of fun in the squad. Uh, being now in play of the season so far, it's still been a really short, short season. But yeah, it's it's a big honour. You know, it's it's been a while since I played, and uh, when I did get back, um, to play well was, was is is really good. You know, just to be back playing was really good. And. Um, you got to create a team. I know everybody says that, but you got to create a team. Nobody is going to get player of the month if, if you're playing in a team that's not performing well. So the team's been playing really well, and and we we've been doing well. So um, yeah, it's a it's a big honour. But winning with the with my mates is is probably the best. Uh, I've not had a good run at the start of the season injury wise. Um, luckily, it's just niggles, so it's just cuts and bruises. I think five times I had to have stitches this year so far, so it's not been good. Twice in the one game, but it's. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think people like me in this league. I know they're just trying to cut me open. Um, I was just a bit unlucky or, or stupid, one of them. So um, I try not to complain, but I do find myself on a, on a Monday morning to um, to be a bit of a moaner <laughs> in the fridge room. But uh, uh, it'll get better. It'll get better with the season. It, it certainly um, it, it does change things when you lose guys to internationals. But at Saracens, we pride ourselves on having a having a big squad and being a, being able to use all of our players. You know, um, we rotate a lot, and we've got a lot of depth. And um, you usually find those guys that come in just really do a great job for us because they're chomping at the bits, and uh, and I'm sure this weekend will be no, you know, no difference. This is the opportunity for the guys to to make their mark. You know, even with the rotation system, you've got to play well to get chance to be in rotation. Um, that's how it works. If you're not playing well, then you're not in rotation. Then you're not going to play. So this is opportunity for guys who may not get as much game time. Um, would have had to wait for a bit longer um, to, to get the opportunity now against a team like Northampton, which has got to be a good test. And if you do if you do well against a, a good side, then um, obviously it's it's going to work well for you. So um, the guys train really well. They they look very excited, obviously, and um, yeah, just looking forward to the challenge ahead. We've got Richard Barrington's coming at prop. Um, he'll be making his debut for us, and, and um, expect some big things from him. Um, we've got Niels Mort playing at 10, who's, who's been playing for our second team unbelievably well. So we've got some good players to, to step in. Um, obviously big shoes to fill, but we have all the confidence in them. Um, a couple of years ago, we've got our CEO, Edward Griffith, is a very interesting man. So he keeps, keeps it interesting a lot. And he, um, he said everybody's got to come up with a song for their try celebration. I've not scored a try, so um, I've not, I don't think I'll be hearing my song pretty quickly. But... Um, if I do hear my song, I'll be pretty happy. I don't think I'll really listen to it at all. I'll be, I think I'll be high-fiving like crazy because I've not scored a try yet in a long, long time. So, um, yes, yeah, it's, it's Bad Moon Rising by Creedence Clearwater Revival. So it's a bit of an old school song. Um, I, I think I've gone with my dad. My dad used to like that song, so I, I kind of just liked it as a kid. It's just like, um, I see a bad moon rising. And then it just goes on from there. <laughs> I will not be doing that. I cannot sing. I will not be doing that. Born in the USA. Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh. I shut as well. Could I haunt you for the rest of your life? <laughs> that song is Dakota from Stereophonics. It's a cracker. I am definitely not going to sing it. And I'll tell you why. Because I just heard Chris Wilde sing it. And it was one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. So I'm going to keep my dignity. And so, uh, well done, Wazi. You got stitched up massively. Like I said, Edward is crazy. He's crazy. He does this thing, but it's fun. Like you said, it's fun. It keeps you keeps you entertained. And uh, it's another thing, just to keep it interesting, to make it a bit more personal and and encourage you maybe to score tries. I don't know for some guys, but um, yeah.